Hey, welcome to Cow Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and today's video is all about the Adidas Switch Forward running shoes. Welcome to the channel. If you've not seen one of my videos before, when I review a pair of sneakers, I always look into five different categories, and they are looks comfort, weight, breathability and price and then at the end of the video I will give these Adidas switch forward running shoes an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see as you're going along please do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device and whilst you're down there and you're trying a tiny bit of extra support you can also subscribe to the channel. So let's get this review going then by first checking out these Adidas switch forward running shoes out on feet. These Adidas Switch Forward running shoes are currently available in four different colorways via the Adidas app and website, as well as being a fan of how colorful the Vault Green is with this dark hit of black on the midsole and outsole unit for this particular colorway. I also like the stealthy black colorway. It's quite simple, but quite a classic triple black colorway as well. And I think a lot of people are gonna go for that one too. Overall though, looks wise, I'm not the biggest fan and it's mainly because of how chunky this shoe is. Now, we'll talk about the upper more in a minute, but the main point for this sneaker is this switch forward EVA foam void structured midsole. The first time it's ever appeared on an Adidas sneaker and it's just absolutely huge. The stack height at the rear of the sneaker for this midsole is 60 millimeters, that's six centimeters. That is incredibly high when on average, you're looking at sneakers having about a 40 to 45 mil stack height. And that really is huge again towards the toe box where it tapers off into almost a 30 mil, three centimeter stack height towards the toes. They're incredibly chunky. I think they just look a little bit off on now these are void structured you can see there how well ribbed this midsole unit is and I do think they look well structured but just on feet I just think they look too chunky now talking more about this EVA foam midsole it's quite soft to the touch and it is void structured so you can see the holes here as you look at it on the side profile but if you tip it up and look at the outsole of the sneaker you can see that these void structures continue now it's not a continuous void tunnel that runs from one side of the shoe to the other like the on cloud surface but they do have void structures in them and all these different areas that, that here, but it is all interconnected and it is kind of one big outsole unit. Now, like I said, I just don't think looks wise there for me because I find them too chunky, especially in the midsole. Now the upper for the sneaker is pretty standard for a pair of Adidas running shoes at the moment. You've got a light mesh material that sits on top of a softer, well perforated fabric. The three stripe Adidas branding in TPU, the tongue for these is a soft neoprene feel to it and it's nice and soft and rubbery and that runs all the way towards the toe box. You have got some more perforations here for breathability in the tongue and that neoprene detailing continues with the lace loop eye stays that you get on the side of the tongue. As you move towards the rear of the sneaker, you've got more Adidas branding with a little bit hit of this, more of this soft neoprene fabric towards the heel of the shoe. But overall, I just, I just find them too chunky and a little bit too odd looking for my liking. Now I wanna move on to their comfort where I wanna put this void structured midsole to the test on my back door step. So this is where these Adidas switch forward running shoes get very interesting for me. And that's with this void structured 
foam midsole unit. Now, like I said, it's incredibly chunky. It's got a huge stack height on it. And for me, I just think there's too much of this EVA foam midsole on it. Whilst it's soft to the touch, and whilst you could see it had really nice give and responsive bounce back when I was doing the step test, when I was walking in these, I didn't find that these voids gave way and gave me as much forward propulsion as I would have liked. Now, if you've seen my review of the uh, on cloud surfers, those ones that have the tunnel void structure that basically runs full tunnel from one side to the other. You can see these, that these are all these voids are segregated and kind of closed off. The, the full tunnel structure that you get from the ons really does create a nice forward action when you're walking and propels you forward with a really nice amount of cushion and bounce back. I didn't experience that with this chunky midsole unit. I found that it was, well, way too thickly structured on the bottom for my liking. There's not enough give and responsive bounce back when you're walking. And one thing I will say about this shoe as well, is that it is the squeakiest pair of sneakers I have ever worn. Now the upper of the sneaker, fit-wise, these are an absolute true fit for me. So don't worry about going half a size up or half a size down. I've got perfect length UK size 10 feet and fit-wise they fit really nice length and I've got slightly wider than average feet but I did find in the toe box for these there was enough room for me and the material that these are composed of is very lightweight and stretchy so I didn't find that the toe box was too constricting at all. There's nice foam padding around the heel and this tongue is nice and padded as well. So on top of your feet there is really nice comfort. I'm just not too soft on the underfoot comfort as I did find it a bit too firm and I did want to see more collapse in these void structures when I was walking in them and more of a propulsion as well and I just didn't quite find that with them. Now I want to move on to their weight where I'm going to pop them on the scales. Weighing in at 363 grams, these sneakers do tip over into the slightly heavyweight category. Anything above the 350 gram mark for me can be considered a more heavyweight shoe and anything below the 350 gram mark would be considered lightweight. Now it's not really a bad weight when you think about the amount of EVA foam midsole you've got with this void structured EVA foam mid. The amount of material that they've used there that's incredibly chunky and that's going to add a lot of weight so they've obviously stripped down a lot that's been used on the upper but i do think for a running shoe you're going to find a lot out there that has a smaller midsole and a much lighter weight and also a midsole that's going to probably give you a better running experience underfoot than these offer as i've mentioned in the comfort section now moving on to their breathability where i want to pump this upper full of smoke to see how breathable it is These Adidas Switch forward running shoes have these additional perforations in the bottom of this foam neoprene tongue that really did help with the overall breathability of this sneaker. You can see the smoke flew out from that area of the shoe and also this very, very well perforated toe box. There are more perforations that appear throughout the middle of the foot towards the heel, but the smoke didn't really have a chance to escape from there because it flew out so much from the tongue and from the toe box of the shoe. So there's no doubt in my mind that these Adidas Switch Forward running shoes are gonna offer you a very, very nice pair of breathable sneakers. Now I wanna move on to their price. Now these cost me 120 pounds and I can't really argue with that price point for these. It is the first time we've seen this void structured midsole on a pair of sneakers. The upper is very well constructed. The, obviously a lot of thought and a lot of engineering has gone into the making of this void structured midsole unit. So I think 120 pounds is quite a reasonable price for these pair of shoes. And that's gonna bring me on to my overall score for this pair of sneakers. And it's gonna be three and a half stars. I can't really give them any more than that because I'm not 100% sold on them looks wise because I think overall they just look too chunky and for a pair of runners I do think they are slightly overweight and I don't think this void structure offers as much comfort as Adidas have revised they do in their print and on their app and their website as part of the selling point for these sneakers. I just think they could have been designed and possibly engineered in a better way to create more forward propulsion and more give. I just don't think this structure 
has enough give in it. Now, if you do like a firmer ride, fair play, but I was hoping that these were gonna offer a lot of squish and a lot of bounce. Now, if you do like what you've seen today, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up like before you leave. You can also follow me on Instagram, drop any comments below, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.